Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manor Lords. This is the demo for Manor Lords. I know a lot of you have already got access to it, you've probably already played it, and you're probably already as hyped as me. Now, I can't stress enough, this is a demo, but it plays perfectly. It plays amazing. I'm just going to click on new message here because this is our first quest, establishing a foothold. We have to build a greenery, a logging camp, a forager hut, and a storehouse. We've got 365 days to do this. We're just going to accept it. I'm going to hit pause. So, if you don't know about Manor Lords, Manor Lords is a city builder game which will have a little bit of a, kind of a total war element to it when you command your units. Unfortunately, because this is a demo, we don't have full access to the game. So there's things that are locked behind, for example, the armory, sorry, the army, the military recruitment are all locked. We've also got a big, big map. We've got a massive map, uh, but we don't really have access to this. As it says, conquest locked in the demo, we don't have access to it. But the really cool thing I like about this view is the fact that you can see all the roads. I love that, I love that. It's such a cool little, uh, cool detail. And then you zoom in. And it changes, it's cool. It's just, you know, it's simple, it's cool. I love it, it's so good. Right, um, essentially what I'm going to be doing is just playing through this and showing you guys what I normally do at the start of the game. Because a lot of people have, uh, they've been posting on Twitter and posting on the Steam or, no, there's not even forums for this, but they've been basically posting in the Discord. Uh, how the hell do you get started? I keep dying, I keep losing people to coldness and starvation. And it's, it's, it's not obvious. So, I'm going to run through what I'd usually do, and this should hopefully help you if you're going to be trying the demo. It's a lot of fun, I would urge you to go and try it. If you do love it as much as me, go and wishlist it and tell the dev he's doing a bloody good job, okay? Because he needs that support. And he needs all the feedback that he can get. So, the way that you usually run through this is I look at the uh, the available food and such. So, I've only got berries and I've only got wild animals. The count is very, very important. You'll have to be very careful about this. So, I'm just going to get my infrastructure sorted out. So, I'm going to get my roads sorted out first. So, right, what we'll do is we'll put a road right round like that just like that. I love the way that the road systems work. And the cool thing about this, if we zoom out again, we zoom right out. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, it's not going to do it because I'm in build mode. Look! How cool is that? It shows up! Anyway, um, because this is a city builder, I'm just going to sort out what I usually do. So, let's build a, a road to about here. And get it to curve round. What I'll do is I'll put some buildings in here, buildings in here, and then essentially this will all wire up and it'll have... It'll, it'll all make sense. It'll all make sense. Don't worry. It'll all make sense. So we'll just get this to go over here. So... Just like that. Banging. Okay. That's an okay shape. Right, let's start off with the obvious things. So let's go for the berries. Put that there. Uh, we do have a hunting post here, so let's put that there. Now I've paused the game for right now just to get the placements down first, so... Uh, the next thing that we need is a logging camp, so let's get... M now, place your logging camp near thick bushels of trees, like thick area of trees. For example, this area, this is a nice big area, thick, absolutely thick of trees. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put down a storehouse and a granary. Now. Berries are there. No, berries are there. So what we'll do is we'll place the granary right at the cross section right here. That's not a granary, that's a storehouse. There's a granary. There we go. So storehouse is here, granary is here. They'll basically run over to the uh, the berries or the forager camp, grab all the food, place it in here. They'll be... Oh, that's the berries, that's the... F that's. I keep getting mixed up. Basically, the food will basically filter down to this location right here. The wood will follow from here to here, and then from here I can distribute it wherever I need it, okay? So let's press play, and then we'll just speed this right up. Now you'll see at the very start we've got an ox and we've got a bunch of people. We've also got five unassigned families. That's totally fine because these are your workers, right? You assign entire families to, uh, to essentially gather things. Hunting camp's done. Let's assign one. And let's set this to 10, so this, when population of a herd drops to this numbers, workers will stop hunting. Then you set the work area. So they'll go and hunt it, 
hunt these animals until they reach a population of 10 and you can see they've already hunted one already so <laughs> they're busy they are busy bees uh, the next thing that we want to do is get our foragers I want to put one forager in there now there's one thing that I never actually built and it's actually quite important that this uh, this logging camp get constructed because the next thing that I need to build is essentially my uh, my wood cutter lodge the wood cutter lodge essentially provides fuel firewood Firewood and food are the two primary things at the very start of the game that you want to focus on. Make sure you've got enough to tide you over because as you can see in the bottom right, we go through months and seasons and the worst season in this game is winter for obvious reasons. Winter's not so fun. You can't grow anything. You need to do hunting in order to kind of tide you over through the winter unless you've got loads of stores of uh, essentially goods built up. For example, right here, number of months before supplies run out. 10 months worth of food and 19 months worth of fuel. Right, now we've got our woodcutter sorted out, so let's just get them hammered straight into this. So we want to get as much uh, wood as possible, because wood is essentially your starting resource. It's the thing that builds everything else. Construction cost, two wood. Construction cost, two wood, one wood, two wood. You go through the storehouses, you can see they're two, two, and, well... No construction cost on that, but you know what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until everything's kind of built up a bit. We're going to leave one unassigned family here because they are going to be our builders. You need to have at least one unassigned family to help you construct things. Right, what have we got? Store limit reached. That's fine. That's totally fine. What we need to do is get the granary and the storehouse finished now. Whilst they're busy doing that, these guys will be away cutting down all the logs. Now the ox comes over and they actually drag the wood, which is a really cool feature. But it does mean that you have to focus on getting some livestock into your uh, into your settlement eventually. You start off with one ox. Eventually you want to work up to about four or five. Maybe, maybe more, depending on how big your village is. Right, we've now got four timber. That's good. Uh, we need to get a wee bit more timber. Just a wee bit. Um, before we even do anything as well, let's just get this put down. So we want to place this, no, so we'll place that right there, get that right there. Right, storehouse is sorted, uh, we can take one off of that and place one onto him. Now, the storehouse worker will ferry the, uh, the resources from the logging camp and the woodcutter lodge back to this location. This is essentially a storehouse, this is essentially the place where you want to put all your raw materials. The granary is obviously for your food. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wait, wait these guys out. They've they've not killed a lot of animals. Get killing! Right, settlement intro. We've got that sorted out. We've got a new message. We've got a new quest. Construct a well in uh, essentially five, five houses. That's essentially what we're doing now. Right, now that that's done, uh, let's get one onto this. Because what he'll do now is he'll ferry... The, the meat from the hunting camp and the berries from this uh, forager hut all the way back to the granary and that's a good thing. We've now got 17 months worth of uh, like supplies so now that's a full year. We're still in spring, we've still got summer and autumn to run through, we've still got loads and loads of time to build up a, like a really good stock of things. So let's get back onto 16 times, we still need this to get built. Can I stay with his drink? <laughs> I love the uh, I love the uh, the little things that they say, the little blurbs that the the villagers come out with. So there is a problem, right? We've now assigned all of our available villagers. So that means we can't really build anything. We can't really, you know, focus on building anything. We also can't assign anyone to, for example, the Woodcutter Lodge or anything else. So the way to do this, the way to beat this, is essentially build back up your timber, right? So what we'll do for just a second, the storehouse will be vacant. The storehouse will be vacant. We want to build up our, uh, our wood here, our timber, because we need to build housing. And the painting tool for this is really, really cool, by the way. It's really, really cool. I'll show you in just a second here. We just need to build up a wee bit more wood. It's imperative that we do that. And the good thing is, there's no real upkeep to to buildings. They don't require upkeep, which means you don't have to worry about 
keeping villagers in one job forever, if you know what I mean. It's all about balance, so we've actually lost a month worth of, uh, of fuel here. Eventually we're going to have to get somebody on that, but first we need to get this timber. We need to get this timber sorted out. The timber situation is at 9, we need to get that to... Yep, there's 10. That's good. So what we can do now is we can take somebody off of that, now that we've got a building family or a family to build things for us. And we're going to build a bunch of houses. We're going to build them near this. This is an underwater uh, water source. Underground... Underwater? Underground water source. Right. What we'll do is we'll paint. So, those little stars right there allow you to put an extension slot on. That's quite handy, especially in mid-game. So what we're going to do is we're going to build these. Now, the building plots are really, really cool. The way that they look in the game is awesome. Genuinely awesome. So, you can also, like, just to, just to distract you from the housing that's currently occurring over here, you can see that this berry uh, icon is starting to kind of dwindle. It's starting to lose its purple... Uh, it's purple colour it's because the berries are getting picked and you can't have the berries are essentially a, a finite resource they regrow but they have to you have to wait a full uh, a full year for them to grow back so if you use them all through spring summer and autumn it means that you'll be uh, you'll be waiting until the next spring for these to come back but it's totally okay. It's totally okay. At the very start of the game, your main focus, get them on this. Get them on the storage of supplies. It's important. Right. Check this out. How cool is that? How cool is this? So, that'll be one house sorted out. You can see that my, my approval rate is kind of going down right now. Uh, no water access. We can sort that as well. Because what we can do is we can build a well. And that underground uh, water source, and place that right there. Easy. Now, there's five homes, there's five families, which means I've kind of housed everybody. But in order to get more people, more peasants, more families, you need to build more of these houses. And that's that, that too is also important, because if you... And I can't stress this enough. If you overly build housing, if you concentrate on just housing, you will run yourself into the ground with the supplies. At the moment, I've got 20 months worth of food and 14 worth of fuel. It's important that we kind of balance this out, maybe get them to about 15 or 16, 16 each. The reason why you want to be careful with building housing is because the supplies will immediately dwindle. An extra family will take maybe two or three extra supplies off of this uh, this overall bank right here. And you want to make sure that they don't go to zero. Because if one of these goes to zero, they either freeze or they starve. And you don't want that. You don't want to lose these families. These families are very important. Especially when it comes to building and making sure that you've got food and fuel. Right, I'm down to a 9% approval rating. That's totally fine. I don't really care about the approval rating right now. As soon as these two houses get constructed, I'm, I'm going to be happy. Happy as a dandy. Right. 70 berries still left over there. That boy needs to get to work. Did you see that? There's a trader. Oh! <laughs> that's a trader. So if you've got a trade post that's matched onto, or at least attached onto this main road, you'll essentially get yourself some trade. You'll get some money. You'll export things. You'll import things. It's all very, very cool. Right. This big space right here is going to be used for more housing as well. Um, let's just have a little look and see what our farming situation is like. So, Emmer is for your wheat. So, there's an... Oh, there's a lovely big fertile ground here. Oh, that's a big area of fertile ground. Red's bad. Green's good. Yellow's kind of okay. What else have we got? Flax. Flax is kind of... Well, we've not got much on the flax side things. Kind of yellow borders over here. Nothing nothing overly green. Uh, barley for making hops, for making beer. Uh, rye fertility. Smell. Obviously, everything smells good in this because it's a demo. Right. We've almost got all of our housing sorted out. Now, in order to make the extension, in order to sort out the extension, we need to use a thing called a tool. Or tools, essentially. 
Now, the good thing about these is you can create yourself a goat shed, a chicken coop, or a vegetable garden. These, these two at the bottom, very good late game, mid game, late game, very, very good. Early game, vegetables, very, very good. They also help with the overall supplies, so that's something to look, uh, to look into. Right, winter's coming, winter's very close, we're on October right now. Winter starts in December and lasts until February, at which point the entire ground will be covered in a sheet of snow. Not cool, not cool for anybody. Right, approval rating is about to come back to life. We're about to have a good time because now we'll have access to water and everybody will be uh, will be housed. These are very cool houses though. Look at these. Do you know what they remind me of? Kingdom Come Deliverance. The housing from Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's what they remind me of. The kind of thatched, thatched top, the kind of plaster walls, the wooden frames. It's all very cool. It's all... It, it's, it, it just reminds you of different things. It's awesome. Right, as soon as that's done, our approval rating should go up. Come on, my dude. Finish it off. Okay, one homeless family and no water access. That should be sorted in just a second. Settlement level increased. We're down to 1% approval rating. <laughs> but it's all gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally okay. That's the well constructed. Oh, 0%. 0%! We're down to 0%, but this should all fix itself. Now that we've got people living in houses and we've also got access to water. Okay, now we need to create uh, three level two plots with a food stall, a firewood stall, and a clothing stall. Now, this is where things get interesting because at this point, you're kind of left to your, to your devices. Right, we're now into winter, so this is where things get interesting. We're going to take the guy off of the berries, and we're going to put him onto the woodcutter lodge. Because now, we really, 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 really need that fuel. We've got 12 months worth of fuel. My approval, look at my approval rating. It's going up! It's going up! Let's go! <laughs> this game's also very scenic as well. See if I hit the, uh, you know, the normal rate of uh, play, and I do control C. How scenic it is! Even with just five homes like that, with the snow falling and the uh, you know the billowing chimneys, it's all really cool. I like it. It's a very <gasps> oh one month worth worth a few. Okay, this is a problem. This is a major problem. That's okay. We're gonna take that guy off of that, and we're gonna put him onto there. Uh, we're gonna take him off of there and slap him straight into there. And we're gonna do three times the speed. Okay. Now this is a problem, you need to be very careful with this. I should have really focused on the fuel at the early stages of the game. I was too busy doing roads and getting everything else sorted out. So <laughs> this is where things get a little bit stressful. You don't want to have one month worth of fuel, that's just silly. We've got three people working the woodcutter's lodge and we're getting, we're getting plenty of wood. We're getting plenty of it. So this should go back up to like six months worth, something like that. Oh, we've also got no one working that, so that's a problem. Things to keep on top of. You need to really keep on top of these things. Now, I could slow it down. There we go, we're back up to eight months. 11 months worth of fuel. See that? <laughs> that's called luck. <laughs> that's called luck. Okay, there's 41 animals there to be hunted. So we've got seven months. Seven months will tide us over until autumn time. So this is good. So we just have to hold this now. We just have to hold that this will, uh, that nobody will get greedy with the uh, the fuel and such and the food. Now notice how there's nobody working in the logging camp. As I said, there's no upkeep in this game. So you can kind of have a little bit of fun with it. You can toss people around, put them into different jobs. Right, we're down to seven months, that's fine. We still got someone working the granary, we do, that's good. Now you can upgrade the granary. You can upgrade it with three wood and it upgrades the, the pantry limit to uh, 1,500. At the moment it's got a, a, a basic cap of 500, which is okay, which is totally fine. But as you get into the game, as, as, as you progress through playing it and managing everything, you'll have multiple granaries, you'll have multiple storehouses, you'll have multiple of everything. 
because you're going to be aiming for a big, big population. Right, we've got eight months worth of food, as you can see. It takes the lesser number and it tells you that's how many supplies you've got left. But you've actually got more. It just takes the lesser, lesser number. Okay, 36 fuel and 120, 29, uh, 28, to, oh, 27, it's going down. <laughs> it's going down. Right, let's start expanding. Let's start thinking about building another house. Let's get another family in here to help us. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do this, paint it off. Hmm, no, I want to make a smaller house. There we go, a small house. And that's only going to cost me two wood. There we go. In fact, we'll make, we'll make two. We'll make two. There we go. Perfect. So we're going to get two extra families here. That two extra families is going to have an impact on the supplies. So we need to think about where we're going to place them at the start here. Okay, that fuel is fine. Fuel is up at 11 months. That's perfect. Nobody on the wood cutting. We've got one on the granary and we've got one on the storehouse. So, next thing we need to work towards is getting our food back up because our food is the one that's dwindling right now. We've got one person hunting. Eventually, when this hits spring, which it has done, you'll see this pop back up being nice and purple. You'll see it in just a second. They're busy building, which is good. So this will end up going nice and purple. And that's when it's time to start picking. Hopefully they build that in the nick of time before this goes purple. Cool, that's that built. Excellent. We've got an extra family. Banging. There we go. Now, we've got one on hunting, one on berries, and one on the woodcutter onto getting us fuel. Now, we've got one more house to build here, which will free up one little available slot. That is going to be placed into the logging camp. We're going to put two people into the logging camp because, as you've noticed, we're out of timber. We're down to one timber. So let's get two people back into that logging camp. Let's get everything back up to speed. As I said, timber's the thing that you need to actually build these houses, to build these, uh, these production buildings. It's important that you keep on top of it. Right, I'm just going to build a wee road right there. Perfect. Family joins. Excellent. Now the smaller houses are actually quite cute. They're kind of the same, but they're cuter. They're nicer. They just don't have that extension slot. You know what I mean? Very, very cool looking. Very interesting. You can be very creative when it comes to these things. When it comes to the houses and stuff like that. You can make big plots with one house or small plots with many, many houses. Right. We're going we're gonna to aim for about... We're going to aim for 10 timber. We're going to aim for 10 timber. Because what I want to do now is I want to think about getting more food for the for the winter. Spring, summer, autumn, to me, is literally just a race to get to winter and make sure that you've got enough supplies to tide you over. Eventually, we will pull one family off of this because I want to do a little bit more building. I want to try and build a few more things here. Specifically, the farm. The farm's important. This as well as the windmill and the communal uh, oven is another source of food and you get loads of wheat back for your fields. You get tons of wheat back for your fields. It's brilliant. And you only need one person to work the windmill and one person to work the communal oven. Place them close enough to the granary and you've got a very, very, very efficient way to keep that food all the way up. So, fuel's up at 18 months. What we can do is we can take him off and we can throw him onto hunting. Oh, he's down to... They're down to 10. That's fine. What we can do is we can... We can do this. We can do this. We can use up all the berries. We can store up every single berry and get it back to the granary. As you can see, the wild animals do respawn. They do breed. They do... They, you know, they, they do the animal thing. They come back. Just don't hunt them to extinction. Otherwise, you'll... You, they're gone. They're gone for good. So make sure that this number doesn't hit zero. Make sure this number is not zero. Otherwise, you will hump it. And sort in my own ways. <laughs> right. We're up at 14 timber, which is good. We can take them off. And what we can do is we can adjust one more person to the storage houses right now. That way, that they can take all the, uh, the berries from this location, where there's eight or ten. And we've got... Oh, we've not got much here. But that's fine. 
the more people that you've got working at these things, the more efficient things are. The quicker things work. As you can see, they're pulling the logs from this... Oh, look at all the logs. And there's the ox away. Ha <laughs> ha! Good. Okay. We've got 16 wood. We've got 11 months worth of supplies. Things are looking quite good. So far, everything's quite balanced. We've got more, more families. Um, over time, you'll eventually see the kids turn into actual uh, workable settlers. Work area is empty. Right, that's fine. We can do away with them. Now that we've got a couple of those uh, deer back, we can put them back onto there and we've got one available family to build. So, let's think about where we're going to put our farm. So, Emmer is over here. So what we want to do is we want to build a farm over here. And that's very, very close to the granary as well. So what we'll do is we'll place the farm right here. Get that farm there. And we'll just get the uh, we'll just get the the field ready. We'll get it we'll get it designed. Okay, not enough workers to, to work that farm. So what we'll do is we'll do this. There we go. Excellent. Workers will come over and they'll cut away all these trees. So I'm building this farm for the next year, because right now, there's no point using it. There's no point using it right now. And we're going to set this to emmer, which is wheat. In fact, no! No, 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 no. What am I talking about? I'm talking absolute rubbish. Let's get... Do we have time? No, we don't. Crops, crop harvests start in late summer. Yeah, there's no point. There's no point. We'll wait. We'll wait to the. We'll wait to the for the the following year, after the next winter comes in. Okay. We've also got a few other buildings here that we can use. We've also got raw material buildings. So, with hunting, you get pelts, as you can see up here. We've got seventy-two pelts in total. Pelts get turned into leather, which then get turned in, turned into clothing. Now, the game is asking me to upgrade one of my 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 housing plots to level two, as you can see. Requirement met, requirement not met, required for the next residential level of upgrades, and required for the next residential upgrade will cause a loss of approval if not fulfilled. So, essentially food, make sure you've got one in there. Make sure you've got one in there. Make sure you've got plenty on water and one in fuel. If you don't have it in these three, you're humped. Alright? So, we no longer have any tools because the tool that we had, I did use... On our farm building as you can see here requires four wood and one tool but that's fine that's totally fine this is gonna work out very very well for us ten months worth of uh, supplies which is fine you can start taking people off of the granary and off of the storehouse throw them back onto these we've already got two in there are they down to ten they're down to ten okay let's take them off for a second and let's think about this let's think about what we want to do here we can't add more families right now because they'll hemorrhage our fuel and they'll hemorrhage our uh, our food essentially. So what we could do, hmm, what could we do? What could we do? Let's think about this for a second. You know what? We could, we could chase a few more houses. We could chase a few more houses. Oh, mining pits. That as well. If you've got an iron deposit, you're good. You're grand. You no longer have to wor worry about like getting tools and stuff. Because now you can use uh, this, the bloomery, which takes the ore from the, uh, from the quarries and turns them into iron slabs. As soon as they get turned into iron slabs, you can create a smithy, which creates tools. And tools are exactly what you need to, to like sort out the extensions. And the extensions are what will... They'll essentially save you in the late game. They'll save you in the late game. Right, they're, d they're up to 16, so which is good. Okay, nine months worth of food. That's not so hot. Not so cool about that. We've got three families unassigned. So what we'll do is we'll leave... In fact, we'll cut this down to five. We'll cut, we'll cut this close. Put one guy in there. Put one family in there to deal with the hunting side of things. And those won't grow up, grow back till next year. Woodcutter Lodge, 
let's get two people in there. And what we'll do is we'll just move that to there. Do I have any additional resources? Any additional ones? Usually if you look around the, uh, the surrounding areas, you can usually find some additional resources, but it seems like I don't. So this, this plot here, this big territory that I've got here, probably going to have to focus on farming. So we're into autumn now. Got our housing, got our food, everything's dandy, everything's good. No, no point worrying now. We've got nine months worth of supplies, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. There's only two months of winter, so as long as, 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 long as we don't hemorrhage here, as long as we don't hemorrhage here, we'll be dandy. 101, 102 fuel types, loads of firewood, loads of it. We've also got 20 logs as well, which is really good. That's perfect. I forgot I left someday on that. Right, now that we've got pelts, uh, let's think about leather. And we'll do that right there. We've got one family on a sign, so they'll build that for me. We'll take one off there. In fact, we'll get two families building this. Make it nice and fast. Now, the leather here, as you can see, is kind of strung up at the storehouse. We've also got the firewood. We've got all the logs as well. And the logs are quite... This is a useful thing. It means they won't take them from here. They'll take them from here. And everything becomes faster. Right. Come on, people. Get to work. Yep, get to work. Make some clothing for me. Thank you very much. So he's going to create some clothing. Are we into the months now? Oh, we're into November. This is where all the snow comes. This is where all the snow is about to come. The background in this game is beautiful. Look at that. If you, if you were to just leave this here and just, you know, fast forward it or even play it at its normal speed and just time lapse it, it's beautiful, it's lovely, it's absolutely magnificent. And then you've got like kind of the lowlands here, you've got the highlands up there, lowlands here, rolling hills everywhere. Right, here comes the snow. Rain, no, I was wrong, it was the rain. Rain then the snow. <laughs> it's rain then the snow. Okay, that's at 87% fertility, which is good. You can also rotate crops as well, which is good. fastest way to keep the yield is fallow. So what we can do here is we can set that to fallow and then set this one to emmer. So it goes wheat, um, fallow, and then wheat. So it'll just follow through in that cycle. That keeps, the, apparently that keeps the fertility quite high. So that's something to watch out for. Okay. No snow yet. We're into December. There's the snow. I spoke too soon. Five, five animals over there, right, we're eight months, eight months worth of uh, of food right now. We're going to take one person off of the, uh, the woodcutter lodge. And what we're going to do is we're going to place him into there, into the farm. Because I want an early start in the new year. I want an early start for these, uh, for these civvies in the new year. We've got two years worth of fuel. Two whole years worth of fuel. Okay, have they, have they moved all the logs? They have moved all the logs. Good. Good, 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 good. 18 logs sat there. That's perfect. And we've got lots of leather here now. There, they're stringing it all up. That's perfect. So we've got 26 leather, 18 timber, 57 pelts, and 147 firewood. Banging. So far, so good. No problems whatsoever. Little hiccup at the very start, but ironed it out. Ironed it all out. As soon as we got one person onto the storage house and one or two people onto the woodcutter lodge, everything was totally fine. It's. It, I'm a wee bit hectic. Like, my gameplay is a wee bit hectic. I don't have a set way of doing things. In my head, I've got my own way, and it works. It always works now. I've played this three additional times, the same kind of way. Lots of houses at the start. Make sure you've got plenty of food to balance everything out. Uh, fuel has gone through the roof. We've got 34 months worth of it. Nearly three years worth of uh, 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 fuel. That's kind of surreal. Okay, what we're going to do is we're into January. February's next. Which means we're going to take everybody off the hunting camp. No, that's a silly idea. 
We're going to take them off the tannery. Take one off the tannery. And that leaves us two. We've got one still on that farm. We're going to place those two into there. But we'll place one in there right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to build another few houses. Another few small houses. Nope. Right there. I like things being level. Just build that there. Build that there. So two additional houses. Two additional houses. That will be two additional families. Which means that's two additional families to feed. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get the windmill sorted out. So the windmill is going to be right here. It's going to be right here. And then we're going to put the communal uh, oven right behind the granary. Just like that. There we go. So that windmill is going to be sat right there. As soon as this is all full of wheat, they're going to pedal that wheat to the, uh, the windmill. And they're going to pedal it straight to the communal oven, which is right behind the granary. Efficiency. <laughs> right, we've got two families to work the uh, the fields here, so we're about to see them starting the, the whole process of doing that. Right, eight timber, that's good. Those two, oh, that house is finished, which is good. Are those, oh, let's take him off that for a second. We'll let those animals breathe a wee bit, you know, we'll let them not fear us. <laughs> we're going to put one more family in there. And then we're going to put a family into the berries side of things. As soon as the uh, the farm's all sorted out, which, oh, there we go, starting to come through. As soon as, that's go, as, soon as that goes purple, place them back on the be berries. Right, have we got enough to transport everything? We do. We could, we'll throw one more family in there. One more family in there. Right. There we go. Place it in there. We've got four months, we've got more months worth of fuel than we do anything else. What we'll do is we'll take it off the fuel and throw it back into the berries. So we've got, at the moment right now, we don't have anybody making any fuel. Mainly because we've got like two years worth. Let's see them, let's see them work in the, uh, the farm. That's a beautiful shot that, look at that. That's how, that's how nice this game is. Do you notice how well it plays? But like I said it at the start, it plays so smoothly. And this is, th this is a good example, like, look how... Look at the grass, the details on the trees, the, the, the moisture on the farm, the road to our right, it's even got little puddles on it, look! Look, you can see the puddles. And depending on which, which, uh, which way you look at it from the light's perspective, that's awesome. That's just awesome. Magnificent. I love it. Right, we're going to speed it up. Speed it right up. Uh, what we're going to do as well is... Uh, right, we've still got four months worth of food, which is fine. Those animals need to breed and get back to, you know, being alive. <laughs> breed quickly. We need more food. <laughs> Right, granaries kind of sorted out. We've got loads of berries. We've got plenty of meat, and we've very little, uh, very little on the side of uh, of bread. But this should fix that problem. So what they're going to do? Are they sown right now? Oh, they just sowed it right. We're going to watch it grow. So this is just going to start sprouting. You can start to see the green. You start to see the green very soon. Here it comes. See if I zoom out and look down on it. Can you see all the wee areas where the plants are starting to come up through the soil? You can kind of make out the green. Look, if I get a wee bit closer. Look at that! Awesome. Genuinely awesome. Okay, we're still low on the whole food situation, but it's fine. It's totally fine. 14 animals, what we could do is we can take two off of that, and we'll stick two on there. They'll murder them until they get to about five. That's about, wait, 
The berries are almost exhausted actually. They're getting really well picked. Which is good. That's what we want. Get them picking. Nobody tends the farm at the moment because the essentially the crops are growing and they grow throughout spring into summer. And they are... What are they at right now? They're 13% right now. 13% grown. Eventually we'll have someday in this windmill and then we'll have someday in this communal oven. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to be dandy. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. I mean, mate, just, just for a second, look at this. Look at that. How do you make a game? How do you make a demo? This, this beautiful. It's just so good. All the detail, the noises, the, the music. The music's surreal. The music, I don't know if you've been like just sitting back and just vibing to it, but just listen to it. This is brilliant. I can't wait for this game to come out. If there's a pre-order on this, if there's a pre-order available on this game, I am pre-ordering this game. And if there's like, you know those packages, like deluxe packages, I'm getting the biggest one. <laughs> it's, it's, ah. Uh, I can't stress enough how cool this game is. It's just, it's just so cool. I know it's a city builder, it's not like a survival game or anything like that, but you have to appreciate it. You really have to appreciate it. I mean, just just look at it. What city builder do you know that looks like this game? Like, what city builder equates to this game in terms of looks, the aesthetic, the ambience, the music. This is a demo! <laughs> this is a demo! I can't get over it, man. This is just a beautiful game. I love this. This is probably going to be a, like an hour long video. I don't even give a shit. This is so good. No more resources to gather at this area. That's fine. We'll take them off of there. That frees up three families, which is good because we need two of them to work the windmill and the communal uh, oven. In fact, we could get, we could put one, put, put one on there. So they are going to, they're going to start threshing it at medium, at medium height. I think that's how it, what it is, threshing priority. Oh, I don't know. My brains went blank. Right. Oh, look at the wheat. Look at it. Look at it. It's so good. And the oh the. The clouds passing over it as well. I can't wait to see what other um, like food production buildings that the devs gonna put in. I'd love to see beekeeping, you know, honeycomb and stuff like that. Be awesome. Create wax for the uh, for the church because there is a church in this game. And if you create wax, you can create candles. Create candles, you could probably boost your influence. It'd be a really cheap way, but it'd be a, I would imagine it'd be a very, um, a very small trickle of influence. Influence, by the way, is used to claim other territories. Right, see if I zoom out. Claim with influence, claim with favour. And I think influence is the main one that you're going to be working with. Especially at the early, at the early points of the game. Right. I don't think I need those guys in there anymore, which is fine. We will have nobody on food right now, which is a wee bit concerning, but don't worry about it. Don't be concerned. I'm not being concerned. Let's get them. Oh, they're not even grown. They're only at 40%. Ooh. Estimated harvest, 310. We could, we could force an early harvest to get 312. Resource produced days left before harvest, 46 days. Okay, so they're gonna they're they're basically gonna plow them in uh, in autumn. So that's 310 wheat and four oh more? 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 I do like more. I do like more. In 39 days they're gonna harvest all this. We could just we could just force an er an early harvest. 
I might do it. I might do it. I might do it. Oh no, it went down! I don't want it to go down. Right. Force it. Let's force an early harvest. Oh, there we go. The threshing. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Good! Let's just get this into normal. So they cut the wheat and then they move it back to the stacks. That's awesome! Just get them working. And what they'll do is they'll transport this wheat over to this building right here. That's perfect. That's perfect. There we go. Three. This will be 311 or something like that. 311 wheat. Oh. 288. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Right, let's take two off of that. And let's stick one onto the windmill. And let's get one onto the communion oven. In fact, let's take them Oh No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's, st let's stick with the two. Keep two in there. And we'll put two into the windmill. There we go. This is good. Uh, we'll upgrade the uh, the granary as well because we're going to get an influx of food here. Five months worth of everything. Right, let's get one person back onto the, uh, the woodcutter lodge. Yes, 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 yes. You'll love to see it. Look at that. Magnificent. Large granary. Sorted. We got it. Right, so that's empty right now. So where are they going? Are they coming over? Right, I think they're going over to get the wheat. Yep, they're getting the wheat. And they're bringing it over. And now it's producing flour. And that flour will then be transported over to the communal oven. And then we'll start getting bread. Which is an influx of food. Right, we can take two people off of that now. How are these animals doing? Right, those animals are getting killed. Those animals are getting killed. There's 20 of them. That's plenty of food for me. And there's... There they are. They're making the bread. We're making bread. We should be getting an influx soon. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know how that uh, that windmill's working, by the way, because like it's got two sets of trees right here. Oh, this is good though. And this is just the start of what you can actually do in this game. Storehouse is full. Storehouse is full. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's get a storehouse right beside it. We'll take one off of the windmill. We'll cut down that uh, that production a wee bit. We'll have two families sorting this out and we'll put one family into moving um, resources to this storehouse. So you can see how everything's kind of balancing itself out. Everything needs to be chopped and changed. Everything needs to have its own little... You, you kind of need to focus on little things here and there. So keeping an eye on like how many animals are there so taking those guys off of that putting one guy on that and maybe an additional guy onto the communal oven get even more food so we still get 15 months worth of, uh, of fuel as well so I'm not bothered I am not phased this is perfect okay we just need somebody to build that storehouse now and it seems like Seems like our boy is busy. He's doing something. What's he doing? Oh, we're waiting for somebody to grab the ox. That's fine. We can wait. Five months worth of food. Bread's steadily going up. We only had four loaves, but now we've got 30 loaves. Peachy, 31 loaves. <laughs> Let's go. Comforts and inconvenience or and conveniences, right? Okay. We can we can deal that deal with that at a later point. How much wood have we got? We've not got much in the way of timber. Uh, we might have to sort that out. So we'll get one family on here. One family on the wood. Get that get that forest chopped down, basically. <laughs> right, I'm kinda needing that guy to come over here and sort this out. Unassigned family. Herman, what are you doing? 
Oh, he's procrast- he's- he's- he's just standing about doing nothing! He's kinda just vibing there. Yep, he's vibing. He's- he's just playing about with his neighbour. A good neighbour. A very good neighbour. Talking to his neighbour. Having a good time. Still, get to work. <laughs> right. The food food situation is getting a little bit on the hairy side. Only five months. Not too uh, not too happy about that. Right, there is a lot. There's a stupid amount of flour in there. Okay. What can I do to improve this? Let's get one family into the granary. Let's shuttle things around. Let's get things moving quicker. Look, just look at them move. They, they're hauling now. Right, six months worth of food now. Nope, I just want to click on the building. 36 loaves made. That's, that's really, really good. There we go. Here comes the snow. Still up at six months, 24 months worth of fuel as well, which is good. Just keep an eye on the uh, the actual working area. Make sure that they've always got fresh timber to cut down. As well as your, uh, your logging camp as well. Make sure they've got fresh timber to cut down. How are the animals? Animals are growing, animals are coming back, which is good. Just rapid. They'll just work. These guys just work. Look at them go. Just bam, 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 round. Bam, 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 round. <laughs> Seven months worth of food. We've got 1k worth of crops. We've got loads of grains and we've got loads of wheat. They just have to keep going with us. What I could do, what I could do is I could build a double uh, communal oven. So I've got two times as much, but it means that two times more resources will be used. But by the looks of it, oh my god, we're, we're filling up. We are filling up. Woo! Right, I'm going to make another granary. I'm going to make another granary. Okay. Let's take one off of that. Let's get that thing built. They've still not built that. Let's just demolish that and build a new one. Build that there. Let's see, let's see if he'll actually, um, if he'll actually do anything now. That ox isn't moving. Store, oh. That's, uh, that's not good. Everything's starting to bottleneck a wee bit. I kind of need the families to start building, uh, the, the storehouses and such. What is this family doing? He's just waiting about. Right, general. Construction. Kinda need that to get built. This might be a little bit of a glitch, or might be, might be a little bit of an issue with the game. There are a few little bugs here and there, but it's nothing to really worry about. We can, we can remedy this, we can fix this. So what we'll do is we'll just demolish that, and we'll demolish that one. And we'll put a granary... There. We'll put a granary right there. Hopefully that, that entices them to come over. I'm hoping it entices them. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very concerned. <laughs> right, take a family off that. Let's get two families working. Maybe this is what we need. Maybe we need two families to work. Storehouse. Put that there. We've got the logs. We've got the timber to actually do this. I don't know what's going on, though. Oh, we're, we've reached a pantry limit. We really, really need this. <laughs> we really need that, eh... Uh, we need this, we need this built now. Need We needed this built yesterday, you know what I mean? Now let's take him off of that for a second. Nine months worth, right. We're gonna take everybody off that. We've got four families now that can build. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that they go for these buildings right here. It's kind of imperative that they get built. They don't seem to be moving. 
Hmm. That's of, uh, that's of concern. There we go. Perfect. Right. I kind of need these things built, lads. I kind of need these built. What if I build them a wee bit closer to them, actually? Let's try that. What if I build a storehouse... ...here? If I build that right there... What are you gonna do? Still not- they've no, still not come over to this one, either. Hmm. All workers busy, waiting its turn. I've not told them to build anything else. Have I? All workers are busy. They don't seem to be busy. Hmm. I don't know what's making them so busy. They're kind of not busy. They're kind of just procrastinating. They're kind of just waiting about the place. Right, those animals are good. Get those animals. Go on. Get to work. Get hunting. Right, they're down. Whew! Okay. Right, they're busy working. They're getting plenty done. Oh, look at all the bread! 11 months worth of bread. That's surreal. This is awesome though. I'm enjoying this, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Right, I really do need these uh, these things built. Don't know what seems to be the issue here. There's nothing really stopping them from coming and building these things. What if I build another house? Oh, I can't build another house. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that because I've not got the timber. Right. Go get some timber. What if I... Hmm, what if I do this? Okay. Biggin is no moving. Biggin's no moving. Right, what we'll do is we'll just remove that, remove that, and remove that. Remove that. There we go. Okay, hands is a wee bit stuck, I think. Task guide is coming. Guide's on his way, apparently. Waiting, storage full. Okay. What if I do double? What if I do double? Okay, the game seems to have flunked out. This is the first time I've ever experienced this. But it seems to have flunked out. Where are you going? Waiting for logs. Yeah, it's flunked out. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're just going to have a quick look at that another... Uh, or because this is a demo, it doesn't have save states. I have to stress this. It does not have save, sta uh, save states. So we're going to have a wee look at uh, a previous game that I recorded. And this is one of my bigger ones. This is one that I wish I could save. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't. I have got, essentially... Uh, a bailey on this, I have a church on this, I have a great infrastructure, I've got plenty of housing, and it's genuinely just really, really cool. And that's going to be the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. This has been an hour-long feature on Manor Lords. This is probably one of my favourite city builders so far, and it's just a demo. I'm very excited to see what the dev's going to be throwing into this game very soon. I'm over the moon for him. The work that he's done has been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Genuinely proud of the guy. He's done awesome. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with a little bit more gameplay. I'm heading out. Thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like on the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I know some people are probably not into City Builders, but if you are, tell me in the comments below. Tell me if you're going to get this game. 
Have you tried the demo? It's free on Steam. It's a free demo on Steam. Go and try it. I urge you to go and try it. As I said, there's no save states. So you're going to be sitting here playing this for a while. Alright. Tell me how you get on. Come back to the video and tell me how you get on. Tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you dislike about it. And if you've got... If, if you ever want to tell the dev that he's done a great job, go on to the Manor Lord's Discord. Go on to the Manor Lord's Twitter. And just give the guy feedback. He needs it. He needs the feedback. He needs it all from us. From you guys. He needs it all from you. To make this game genuinely incredible. Alright ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this video and you've enjoyed my other series on the channel. Please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell to stay up to date with videos just like this. As well as Sunday Night Livestream. Which starts at 6-7pm UK time. We go for about 3-4 hours playing Scum. Other survival games. Sometimes city builders. Like Manor Lords. Or even other, or other city builders, you never know. And we generally have a, look, a really good time. It's always a bunch of fun seeing new people, seeing new subs. It's always great to see. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Mr. Fudo. This has been Manor Lord's Demo. I'll see you all another time.